Hey Coders, welcome back to my channel. So if you're new, please click subscribe and if you're a regular, welcome back. So in this video, we'll be talking about front-end developers and what you need to know about front-end. So we know the basics is HTML, CSS, JavaScript, but many people think that's the only thing that you need to know about front-end. Let's talk, let's start with the ones that we know, HTML, which provides the structure for your web pages, CSS, which controls the appearance and presentation of your web pages, and then JavaScript, which is the programming language that enables you to add interactivity and dynamic behavior to web pages, which is very essential for front-end developers. Development. But that's not all. You need to know the version control system, which is Git. Understanding that is crucial for collaboration on projects and manages code changes effectively. The next thing is responsive design. The knowledge of web design principles ensures that your application works and functions properly on various devices. Then there's CSS processes, for example, SAS or LESS. Processes extend CSS with features like variables, mixins, functions, making, CSS more maintainable and efficient. And then we'll talk about the frameworks and libraries. There's React.js. It was developed by Facebook. It is a JavaScript library for building user interfaces. It is widely used and has a large ecosystem of tools and libraries. Then we have Angular, which is developed by Google. It is a comprehensive front-end framework for building web applications. And then Vue.js. It is a progressive JavaScript framework for user interfaces. It's known for its simplicity and flexibility. And then we have package managers. For example, NPN or Yarn. It helps you manage dependencies and install external libraries and frameworks into your project. And then we talk about build tools. For example, Webpack or Parcel. Build tools automate tasks like bundling, unification, and transpilation and make the development De development workflow more efficient and then you need the knowledge for apis understanding how to consume an api enables you to fetch data from external sources and integrate it into your web application and then basic design principles although you're not a designer you still need to know the basic understanding of design principles, which can help you create visually appealing and user-friendly interfaces. And then bro browser, I think I don't know how to pronounce browser, browser, browser developer tools. For example, Chrome um, Dev Tools is essential for debugging and optimizing front end code. And then lastly, it's continuous learning. So you need the willingness to continuously learn and adapt to new technologies and best practices is very essential. So that's all for the video. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, please give this video a big thumbs up. Um, comment down below if front end is something that you're looking into or if you are in the front end field and you have more to share please do comment down below and do subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed until the next one bye